Then I moved on to design my shots. First we need to plan the set. At the top is my first sketch of the set. This might be a good idea for a real office, but it has several drawbacks as a film set when you consider the camera positions and the shots. One solution could be to use different sets for different views of the office. I played about with various configurations on the bottom left. Then I switched to thinking about the shots I wanted to discuss in the workshop. That gave me the arrangement on the right. It shows a wide variety of shots from a single or multiple cameras, a configuration that would work for all four narratives. I went through the script, identifying the shots I wanted in the final cut. Editing before shooting saves time. It avoids wasting people's time on the set. It simplifies the editing process. It shows camera positions and the shot sequence in the film. In this case, I built the list to give me the examples of shot design that I wanted in the workshop. I wanted to show was motivating a cut between shots, inserting shots that show the character's secret feelings, and show a character using a prop to express feelings. I added a column for the motivations. I also added a cross-reference to the page of Tucker's book where I found the exercise. I could have included references to Kenworthy's books to use in technical rehearsals with the director of photography and the crew. I ended up with 14 or 15 shots that would average 5 seconds, less than Stockland suggested 10 seconds. This is the starting point. Each take would be longer than the final shot, and the shots would change in planning and in rehearsal. They might be cut or replaced in the final edit. I chose six shots to show shot designs that I wanted. Later, in pre-production planning, the shots would be ordered for the most efficient filming. That will be the time to think about location availability, actors availability, set up and tear down times. Knowing my cameraman would be under pressure to perform in real time on the evening, I drew a storyboard for each shot and made notes of what I had in mind for each one. The notes were for me as much as for the cameraman, and as it turned out, they were useful to the volunteer actors too. My storyboards are not works of art, and I'm no artist. A storyboard shows what the shots should look like in broad outline. It's the basis for the director of photography and the rest of the crew to make the vision real. I was very heartened when the professional cameraman at the workshop told me he appreciates having storyboards. Most of the directors that he works with don't give him that support or guidance. A few weeks before this seminar, Simon Wolfe presented a fascinating and inspirational award-winning film by an Iranian director, Asghar Fahadi. I took clips and stills from the film to show how Fahadi achieved his effects and to illustrate some of the techniques for designing shots. I don't have permission to show any part of the film in this seminar, so I'll briefly list the points I made. The theme of separation is expressed in many ways. The narrative explores the consequences of the opening divorce. Doors, windows and barriers show physically the mental separation between the characters. The audience is separated from the action by using medium close-ups and an occasional long shot. People and traffic move between the action and the audience, separating them and allowing edit cuts to be hidden. Fahadi wanted to make the audience think. He hides important information from us and distracts us from important action while the characters are talking about something else. Reaction shots often tell a different story from the dialogue. He cuts away from the consequence of an action that's critical for the second whodunit theme, which emerges later in the film. The wide shots use fore, mid and background elements to give depth and bring drama to otherwise bland images. The wife uses cutting vegetables to show engagement and disengagement from her ex-husband as they talk with him outside the doorway. Camera tilt shows power relationships. Tilt up to the dominant husband, tilt down to the subservient home help. Tracking and panning shots move the audience's attention without needing cuts. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.